When I think about raising my children in the black, in the black community, I wouldn't want to do it. For my experience, I think all black communities are like this, personally. All right, y'all, listen up. We have an assignment. No, I don't think that black communities have always been this way. A long time ago, I know things used to, people used to do things like wash their own doorsteps and even discipline kids that weren't even theirs. So if people knew kids that would do things that weren't right, they would discipline them, then they would go home and get disciplined by their own parents. The only way we're going to find out the truth is to ask the elders. Our assignment is to interview elders who have lived here all their lives. So, is everybody down? Yeah. All right, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I'm really glad that you're undertaking this project because it's important uh, that our young people understand how we got where we are, the sacrifices we had to make. In the black community, um, 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 retail outlets were everywhere in terms of providing services to our community that the larger community denied us access to. Uh, so you had a Clovers, you had restaurants, you had um, places where you could go purchase insurance, where you could go um, uh, uh, get your health care, all provided by black professionals because they were denied that access by the larger community and we had to develop it ourselves. The steps, oh, you've heard the story of the steps. <laughs> they were scrubbed clean. You saw it was the, the handwriting on the wall where you knew the day was coming when these businesses, these black businesses that have sustained us as a people, as communities, would no longer exist. I learned that black communities have been clean at one point in time, and they were nice. When my grandmother and mother and great-grandmother were children or even growing up, their communities weren't dirty. Their communities were clean and everything, so I really don't think so. If you had the cleanest block, you used to get an award every year. Baltimore communities couldn't have been older that way. 